Does radioisotope migration affect radiometric dating? And if so, how do we correct for it? Was in a discussion about radiometric dating, and someone suggested this paper. They claimed the paper shows how radiometric dating is unreliable because radioisotopes can be leached or absorbed, which would throw off the ratio of daughter to parent isotope. In practice, I'm sure scientists wouldn't excavate samples anywhere near known nuclear test sites or radioactive waste. I also know we have isochron methods to help identify contamination, but does anyone know how this is actually practiced? How do we account for this type of contamination, or does the paper have any real implications on radiometric dating? Thank you. The answer, greater than they claim the paper shows how radiometric dating is unreliable, because radioisotopes can be leached or absorbed, which would throw off the ratio of daughter to parent isotope. An important aspect here is that not only are these considering relatively rare areas, i.e. areas influenced by radioactive testing and or natural reactors, like they are. 1. Mostly tracing radionuclides that are not used in radiometric dating, and 2. More importantly, considering migration into and out of material, i.e. minerals, that are not typically used for radiometric dating, that radionuclides are soluble and thus easily mobilized out of oxides, like what this paper focuses on, is precisely a reason why many of these minerals are not considered suitable for geochronology. Minerals that we actually use regularly for geochronology, e.g. zircon, manazite, apatite, etc., are used in part because they tend to be relatively resistant to these kind of effects. Additionally, the underlying premise seems to be that geochronologists just uniformly accept the assumptions of closed system behavior when in fact we routinely consider and test for open system behavior as a matter of course in most analyses, e.g. CO et al. The degree to which we are concerned about open system behavior and potential remedies or corrections depend on the method. We generally expect that UPB dating in zircon will reflect closed system behavior, but still almost always check via measuring both 238U, 206PB, and 235U, 207PB ages, whereas we expect the possibility of open system behavior of something like 234, U 230, th dating in carbonates is relatively high and do a variety of things to check whether dates are valid or influenced significantly by open system behavior. Follow this channel for more Santa Explains.